What's up desktopers, Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding and we are back for another video and today I'm wrapping up, reviewing and giving the results of the 2023 Orlando Pro which just wrapped up and Phil Klahar beats Hassan Mustafa. Many people after pre-judging had Hassan in the lead and had him winning this contest and qualifying for 2023 Mr. Olympia but Phil Klahar and I'm not sure exactly how old Phil is but I've got to imagine based off what I remember what he was in previous years, he's almost 50 years of age. He's going to be obviously one of the front runners, if not the front runner now, to win that Masters Olympia title in just about seven to eight weeks from now. And you can see them both on stage here, Phil Klaha on the left and Hassan Mustafa on the right. And I'll make that a little bit bigger for you guys so you can see that a little more clearly. But Phil Klaha, you can see he brings a lot of muscle there. Now, this angle is obviously advantaging Hassan Mustafa, and I'll give you the rest of the top five results very, very soon as well. I'll actually give them to you now. So, uh, and I've got some more video. I've got some HD video of Hassan Mustafa. I've got some video of Stan Delonjou from the Bodybuilding University podcast, who placed third in this show. In fifth, we had Chris D. Domenico. In fourth, we had Emmanuel Alvarez. Third, Stan Delonjou Stanimal from the Bodybuilding University podcast. Second, we had Hassan Mustafa. And first, as I mentioned, Phil Klaha winning this one at either 50 years of age or almost 50 years of age, which is absolutely wild. So I don't know if I've seen enough straight on video or photos of this contest to really make a solid assessment, but let's do it together and go through these photos at least. And we'll go through the video as well, the HD footage of Hassan Mustafa. And let me know what you think in the comments. I do have a poll up live as well. Um, and someone's saying seven minutes late for work. Yeah, sorry guys. Seven minutes late to get that up, but I want to make sure I got the footage up and all that sort of stuff for you guys. I thought I'd be able to get it done a little quicker. But let's go through these photos. So you got the most muscular, which is normally the last pose, but we've got that up first in these photos. And these photos were posted, I believe that's posted by Hassan, but uh, Suryose on Instagram shared these. So on that most muscular, you've got to remember Hassan has the advantage because of the angle, uh, obviously. But Phil Kalhar looks very good on that. And I've seen some other photos as well of Phil front on of his pose. And he is very, very wide in comparison to Hassan. Width-wise on this, they look pretty similar. But I've got to assure you, and you've got to take my word for it, that uh, Phil, and I might even show these photos later, is very, very wide on that most muscular. So when I saw this most muscular front on, I had Phil Kalhar winning that one. Front lat spread, like I said, hard to tell from this angle. You can see the size difference in the legs is tremendous. But Phil has a bit more of a, I suppose, say, better structure overall. And that's what Hassan was knocked for in Toronto. And many people, by the photos and video, had Hassan beating Ian Valier at that contest. And um, what are you guys saying? Bro, Hassan can't get a break. Yeah, it's, uh, it's rough finishing second in two shows full stop, especially when you've got people online thinking you should have won or saying you should have won at least anyway. But Hassan doesn't look too bad on that front lat spread, but I think the angle is definitely helping him on that one. I'd say the most muscles overall would have Phil Klahar winning them. I just think he looked a little bit better. But look at those legs. Hassan brought a really good package, and you could definitely make the case for him winning for sure. But I think Phil bought... I mean, I didn't think Phil would be able to bring this sort of package again. Just being his age, the fact of what he looked like in his last shows, and I thought maybe he's on the slide a little bit, but he really did bring it here. And you cannot knock this guy at his age. He's bringing his all-time best, uh, pretty much. Whether this is his all-time best or at Texas Pro a couple of years ago is his all-time best, I don't know. You guys can let me know that in the comments. But Phil just has a bit more detail overall, even through this upper body. Now you can see Hassan, you can see his chest there, extremely, extremely full. But Phil just has those deeper lines. He has more lines through his delts, very cut up through the midsection as well. And that might be one thing. And you can see in the side leg as well, even though Hassan has tremendous size, Phil has more cuts. He's more cut out. And just the structure, I think, would be the thing that, would have been evident. Now, obviously, like I mentioned, the advantage in terms of the angle of his photo is going to advantage Hassan a million times out of a million. But Phil, he looks pretty great on this pose. Now, he doesn't always have the best midsection control, but it wasn't too bad in this contest. And you can see there, Phil is just cut out. And I was wondering if Phil would be hard enough for this show because he has that Masters Olympia coming up. That's obviously probably one of the shows of his career. Um, definitely one of the most anticipated shows of his career because of, I suppose, what's at stake, a Masters Olympia title. If that show goes on for years to come, then I thought, you know, he's going to be peaking for that. Now, Phil does have that little bit of distension to the midsection. I'd like to see that pulled in a little bit more if he can, but he is cut from stone there. And Hassan's waist looks pretty damn tight. 
I know he did no carbs for like a few weeks leading into this and really tried to nail in that conditioning. But um, maybe it worked against him. Maybe it worked for him. I don't know. You guys can let me know if you think he was better or not. The legs still just look crazy ballooned out. He cannot lose size off that. And I will be showing Stanimal very, very soon. I've got a video of him that I'll pop up on the screen and I'll pop up the video of the HD footage of Hassan Mustafa. And then we've got the side tricep there. Really, it's a bad angle there for Phil because this photo is from the side. So it's obviously going to advantage Hassan. But look at how crazy Hassan is. This dude is packed full of muscle. And really, he's being penalized a lot for his lack of clavicle width, which is basically the distance between the shoulder, it's the shoulder structure, how wide it is. And he doesn't have an incredibly wide shoulder structure. And in certain poses, you can see that. The back double bicep, I might, I wish Hassan just lifted his elbows up because it really crunches his back in and he doesn't display it to the full width of what his back actually is. And considering he does have that smaller shoulder structure, he would be much more advantaged by pulling these elbows up and pushing them out to the side as far as possible. I think that would really, really help him. And Phil's just hitting it. You know, I wish Hassan was hitting it the way Phil was, honestly. The ab and thigh, I mean, Hassan looks good here. I mean, I, I can't deny it. He looks really, really good. So you can make a case... Definitely for Hassan winning, no doubt. Now, I'm going to show you a bit of HD footage, and I'll get back to some more photos of these top two a little bit later on. You'll be able to see it. Um, but we'll show Hassan what he looked like in his individual routine from pre-judging. Uh, I've also uh, credited the photographer in the description below as well. This was found on his IG. Now, you can see there, Hassan, I don't know if he's not sitting on his side leg and his glutes properly, but the conditioning just isn't there when he hits that shot. But then he turns to the back and his glutes are hard. So I think that Hassan has worked on his posing. His posing is much better than it used to be. But like I said, that back double, it's good. But it would look that much better if he pulled those elbows up a bit and rotated the arms a little bit more. I don't know if you guys can see me in the bottom corner. And pulled it back like that, as opposed to it having his arms sitting like that a little bit more. So and just pulling those elbows up to here instead of being like back like that, where it contracts your back back a lot. <laughs> it really does. Uh, but let's watch on, because I've got to give him credit. He really does look good. I mean, compared to past versions of Hassan, Chad Nichols and he have done very, very well. That rear lat spread, I don't, can't remember what Phil's look like exactly, but I don't know if Phil would have beat him on that one. He doesn't hit the traditional side tricep, and he didn't even hit that properly. He wasn't even flexing his midsection properly on that one. So I don't know if he's struggling a little bit with that or not. I'm not sure. Now I'm going to show you the third place finisher, Stan Delonju, Stanimal. Now, this isn't as high quality footage. This was from his IG page. Obviously, just the iPhone stuff. Now, Stan, overall, the quality when I actually watched some of the uh, phone footage, and you could see him next to these other guys, the quality of his muscle and the conditioning was outrageous. What Stan really needs is just more muscle overall. Um, and I think he'll look at this, he'll note that. But what he's bringing to the stage, I mean, this is a top 10 classic physique guy um, a few years ago, obviously turned pro in the men's physique. If he can just continue to add size to his physique, I mean, maybe he pushed it down a little bit too low for this comp and just brought outrageous conditioning. Maybe he could bring a little bit more fullness, but he was really conditioned and the muscle quality was just on point. So I think Stan just overall needs more muscle uh, in a lineup like this as well. But, you know, had a son decided not to jump in and we didn't know Phil Kahar was doing it, this guy would be a pro show winner and going to the Olympia. But obviously, you know, then you could say other guys could be in it and he wouldn't have been top three as well. So you can sort of make cases other ways. But I think Stan definitely deserved this top three, no doubt, in this lineup. And I would have liked to see him compared a little bit more in there just to see the, the muscle quality because he is taller and when he stands next to these other guys, he does look a lot bigger. But yeah, his abs were just shredded on point. And I wish we had some more HD footage of Stan because you'd really be able to see that conditioning coming through a little bit more. But shout out to Stan Delonjou. He's an awesome guy. He worked very hard for this contest. Poses well. He's really improved that. And uh, yeah, congrats to Stan on that top three finish at this show. But anyway, let's get to some more photos. Let me open this back up. And uh, I think I've got some more saved here. Here you can see a little bit more in terms of the front on look. I can't zoom in any more than that, unfortunately. I don't think, let me try. Nope, it won't let me. Uh, actually, here we go. There we go, all right. So you can see here, this is Emmanuel Alvarez as well. He finished in uh, fourth place. 
and then we had Chris D. Domenico here on the left, and then we had Mohamed Alnsor, who I assume, you know, by this call out would have finished in sixth place, who's a guy who actually qualified for the Olympia a couple of years ago, brings outrageous conditioning, but uh, just not the standard of uh, these top guys here in the middle. Now, honestly, I think the judging was actually pretty damn good because when you see here, you see how much more size and how much more structure Phil has. He is not a small guy. And standing next to um, Hassan Mustafa, it's damn impressive to see him there. So Phil has such a big structure that by himself, he doesn't look as big. But when he stands next to these other guys, he looks a lot bigger. And you can see the size on the upper body, just the structure, how wide his shoulders are compared to Hassan's. That's what I think would have looked more impressive in person. And you can see here, Emmanuel Alvarez looks really, really good um, in terms of his structure and everything. This is his pro debut. If he can just continue to refine that and just get better and better, he's going to end up doing very, very well in the pro ranks. And Stan Delonge, you can tell he's just cut from stone. Like, he is really hard. Just needs more size overall to be beating these guys, but he looks tremendous in that front lat spread. Then we go to the side chest. And you can see why these guys are the top two, just the sheer level of thickness and size. And I look at this one, I have Phil Clyde winning the side chest because Hassan is just not cut out in the side leg the same way Phil is. He's not soft, but he's not flexing that glute properly. So if you're not displaying it, then it's not there, essentially. And you can see Stan, he's just shredded in that side leg. Emmanuel Alvarez, I think he just needs maybe a year more, a year or two, just adding a little bit more muscle to that physique and just, I mean, he's cut out here in the side leg. It's just about maturing that physique more and just adding that little bit more size and thickness, you know, in the chest and whatnot to match up with like, you look at Phil's chest and Hassan's chest, both incredibly thick chest. And you look at, you know, his and it's just a little bit down, but impressive pro debut regardless. Back double bicep, you can see how much, you know, Phil has a lot more muscle in that back than Hassan. And Hassan is doing himself no service here by having these elbows pulled down and shutting that back off and then you look at this to me this upper body feels is definitely better the way he's hitting it the legs i mean he's a little bit more cut out i mean how much more do you add to hassan in terms of like gaining ground on this pose from the upper body just in the legs i mean i i don't think it's a huge huge amount there is more completeness there absolutely but the structure and the height and the stature of phil Kla very impressive and then we go to the rear lat spread and as i said before i said i don't know if Hassan would have lost that pose but look at phil's back it's huge look how wide he's across the back his traps run down his back they're huge his glutes are in really you can't knock it too much you know it's it's a very impressive pose for phil Klahar, and this might have been his all-time best honestly it's um it's pretty wild but you guys can let me know what you think who did you have winning this contest? I put a poll up on uh, this live. If you are watching live, if you're watching on replay, let me know in the comments and I'll get to your comments at the end of this video. But let me just open up this poll and hopefully it doesn't play out loud. I'm pr praying it doesn't play out loud. I'll just mute my computer so it doesn't. Um, let's view this on YouTube. Mute the tab just to make sure. So let's have a look at the results. Who do you have winning the 2023 Orlando Pro? 104 votes so far. Get your votes in quickly. And I'll, uh, 106 votes. And as the votes come in, we have 41% having Phil Klaha win this contest, 59% having Hassan Mustafa win it. So it's pretty split. It's pretty damn split. 107 votes, 108 votes, and uh, the percentages are staying the same. 100, yeah. So. More of you guys having Hassan win this contest, but still a very decent amount having Phil Kaha win it. Unless we're there, obviously, we don't really know. We can't really assess this 100% on who is going to win this contest because, you know, it's hard to judge even when you're there and when you're online. Obviously, it's a little bit harder, but uh, the most muscular as well would have Phil winning. So I do have Phil winning more poses. Straight up, I have Phil winning more poses, which I'm surprised even when I started this video, I thought that I was going to have... Hassan winning this, but looking at those front-on shots, it gives a bit more of a perspective. These were posted by Hassan originally as well, and uh, they were advantage Hassan, absolutely, in terms of the angle. But you, when you look at it from the other angles, uh, which is the straight-on angle, 
I have Phil Kyle winning this contest, and I think the judges did a phenomenal job. Um, honestly, I would have had it one, two, three, exactly as they had it. Phil Kahara in first, Sam Mustafa in second, Stan Delonjou, Stanimal in third place, and yeah, they did really, really well. So I'll get to your comments quickly. Um, Mark Bates in Thailand, Stan looks very good there, absolutely. Um, Sasha Johnson, Phil is making a case for winning the Masters. What momentum? Absolutely. I mean, winning an open pro show against a guy like Assam Mustafa, he has to be in the box seat now. I know you've got Josh Lenardowitz in there, but we haven't seen any updates from Josh. I will actually will hit Josh up soon, try to get an interview. And uh, yeah, Mark Bates, it's a bodybuilding show. Hassan has the most muscle. Mark, let me know your opinion after we looked at those straight on shots. I want to know. Uh, yeah, and after we looked at the front on sh uh, shots, I changed my mind. I'm going Phil now from uh, Colin Proctor. Yeah, when, once you see the front on shots, it changes everything, absolutely. Uh, oh, really, uh, interesting comment. This Phil beats Ian at Toronto, question mark? Poor, that, that is very interesting because Ian is a top sort of Olympia guy. It's gonna be, I mean, I assume Phil Klaha now goes to the Open Mr. Olympia as well. I don't know if this version beats Ian Valier. We'd have to see it side by side and we'd probably have to see it in person, honestly, to make a true assessment, but both these guys beat Hassan Mustafa. And to me, personally, by the photos, by the video, I had Hassan beating Ian, personally. But that's just by video, just by photos. And in this, I have Phil Kulha beating Hassan. So you take that into consideration. I don't think Hassan was worse. If anything, he was better. You'd have to say this version of Phil, by photos, by videos, would beat Ian Valier. But would he, in reality, on stage, side by side, if you were there watching in person? I don't know. It's really hard to say. Yeah, Luis or Lewis, thank you. Hit the like button. Absolutely, guys, hit the like button. Smash it and uh, comment and let me know your opinions. We've only got 171 people in the chat. Let's hit 200 before we wrap it up. Were these front shots? Where these front shots? If you go back in the video a little bit, big billionaire boy, uh, you can find those front shots. They're not the highest quality, but you get to be able to see enough and it's much closer, so... Go back and watch the rest of this video and get to see some HD footage of Hassan Mustafa as well. Um, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but no shot Hassan loses the most muscular lol. You mean he doesn't lose the most muscular? Uh, Jimmy, you have Hassan on the most muscular. Uh, I can see that, but when you see this front on, um, I personally have feel, but it's close, it's close. Um, super limit, liminal, it's like subliminal, um, says Hassan looked more full at Toronto. Phil wins here. Toronto Hassan would have won. Interesting. I'd like to see that comparison for sure. I think Hassan with some better posing, just like the elbows up on that bicep shot. I think it'd make a huge difference. Um, someone saying Phil has no legs. Yeah, he has legs. I think it's just, there's, there's less on the quad from a side though. I think he beats Hassan's side leg, which is crazy. I uh, just think Hassan wasn't posing it properly, wasn't hitting it 100% uh, properly. So, yeah. And uh, from Dane, wow, congratulations, Phil. Uh, he's always in great shape. I'm assuming Hassan wasn't quite peeled enough. I think it's mostly structure, what it came down to in this contest. Phil has a huge structure, and I think that hurt Hassan. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, I'll quickly look at the poll results to see what you guys are saying. And it's the same, 41% Phil Klaha. Uh, you guys have winning this show and 59% say Hassan Mustafa. So another controversial one. Lots of shows this year where, you know, you've obviously got the Tony Burton versus Ross Flanagan. You've got all these other shows where it's, you know, a lot of people have the second place guy winning. So it's good to see uh, pro bodybuilding is close, interesting, and uh, I'm excited for the next show. And we'll be live next weekend for that one as well. So make sure you guys firstly hit the likes, like button, the thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the notification bell button. You won't miss out on any of the coverage here from myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. So that's it for this one, guys. I'm Xavier Wills. This is Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are out.